Hi, and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Dean O'Lally. And I'm Lauren Farum. We're coming to you today from Lawton, Oklahoma, from the Museum of the Great Plains. And I want to officially welcome you and thank you for joining us as my guest co-host this week. Well, Dino, I'm excited to be here and I'm excited to be at one of my very favorite places in the state and right here in my hometown of Lawton. This is one of the top tourist attractions in Lawton. It features special collections and exhibits that spotlight the culture and the natural history of the North American Great Plains. There's so much to see and do here. We'll tell you a little bit more about it throughout the show. But first, are you ready to jump into the first story? Let's do it. All right, I think we are in for a wild ride. And a wet one too. Let's head to Lake Texoma with Lisanne Anderson where she's trying out some water wings. Think you could do this? Take a short drive to Lake Texoma and Little Glasses Marina and you could become the latest to fall in love with Hydroflight. Only here, it's called Water Wings of Texoma. What do you got going on out here? An awesome flight time. <laughs> <laughs> Flying over the water with jets on your feet. That's amazing. It's awesome. It's, a, it's the next best thing to having wings. Everybody wants to fly. Kevin Beam fell in love with Hydroflight on a trip to the Cayman Islands, so he brought it home to Oklahoma. And I thought, hey, what better way to bring people, more people to the lake, more actions, more functions, more fun. And uh, since, I guess in the last 30 days, since we've opened it and gone, we've got people from eight years old to 72 years old. They're flying high over the water. That's his son, Gage. It took me a couple times to get it really good where I was out of the water. So it was probably like two weeks. It probably took me a week or so to get it down. And I finally got it to where it's consistent now. Well, if he can do it, so can I. These are called bindings. These are the same thing that's on snowboard, wakeboard. After a few minutes of instruction and a little prayer on my part, in the water I go. Good heavens. I have no steering in this whatsoever. Okay. That's encouraging. Have I mentioned I usually don't get my hair wet? I made a few flops, but it only took a few tries, and hey, I finally made it. And if I can do it, trust me, anyone can. Woo! I'm done. I did it. I have officially discovered Oklahoma. I might not be as good at it as Kevin and Gage, though. They're starting to do competitions, even bringing one right here to Texoma. We're trying to get one set up for here next year, which looks like it's already been done. We just have to finalize some things. And it's just bringing people in to get more notice, more credibility on doing it. And best of all, Kevin says they have wetsuits, so no matter the season, they can keep people flying year round. Just check out their website, waterwingsoftexoma.com. They have first comer flights like mine and even special deals for campers. That is worth it. Come discover Oklahoma, Little Glasses Marina, Lake Texoma. Yep, mark that one off the bucket list. Discovering Oklahoma, I'm Lisanne Anderson. If you're ready for outdoor adventures on Oklahoma lakes or anywhere else, maybe our great state parks, we've got just the guide to help you find it. Log on to our website, travelok.com, to order the 2016 Oklahoma Outdoor Guide. Just click where it says request free brochures. And while you're in lake country, you really do need to take a moment and just go exploring. And maybe get in a little shopping too. That's always a good choice. Right. A great place to do that is in the town of Durant. And Tina McGarry takes us to a place called the Hollow Tree. Nestled along Main Street, tucked beneath the cute green awning, is one of Durant's shopping treasures. The Hollow Tree gift store and tea room is quaint and happy with small town charm. It's just a fun little store. We enjoy meeting people and trying to show them what we have here. We're friendly. We're always helping them, you know, asking them what they need. We don't want to be over zealous with that. We want them to, you know, feel comfortable, but we do have a lot of personal care and a lot of good choices of gifts and things that maybe they can't find in a big department store because it's kind of hometown feel. The Hollow Tree has gifts for all occasions, beautiful home decor, and all the essentials for your kitchen. 
There's a collection of fragrant candles, beautiful jewelry, and lovely stationery. You'll also find a nice selection for your lawn and garden, and so much more. We have lots of gourmet things here. We have uh, glassware of different kinds, stemware. We have everyday glassware that might be plastic for the pool side, or we have beautiful uh, crystal glasses for the most important evening of your life, you know. We have lots of neat things here. And we recommend you come hungry. The Hollow Tree Tea Room is a favorite spot for lunch with delicious daily specials, yummy desserts, and tasty drinks. It's a really popular little place for ladies and quite a few men come in for, you know, just kind of a meeting place. They come in for coffee or, or pie or cake lots of times also. We do cappuccinos and different drinks. Now, you know, after lunch hours, we're available to fix them a special drink. A cherry lime soda is really popular in the summertime. It's very cool, a cooling drink for them. It's become a very popular. Whether shopping for yourself or a friend, you're sure to find a treasure at the Hollow Tree. We have just the right jewelry for your friend or a scarf maybe would be nice for them. Uh, do you have a special fragrance that they are looking for? We might have the right fragrance for you. We try real hard to have things to suit everybody's needs, both young and old, and we do pretty good at that. And we found all sorts of fun things here at the Hollow Tree, including some Oklahoma items. In Durant, I'm Tina McGarry, Discovering Oklahoma. You know, we also encourage folks to shop local and support Oklahoma-owned businesses. So head to our website, TravelOK.com, and type the word shopping into the search bar. You'll find hundreds of unique spots to visit. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. It's more like going to a friend's house, having a cup of coffee, and oh, by the way, they have great stuff and you can take some home with you. <laughs> Friendly folks with the most awesome finds, the shop where you've got to stop, coming up. It's really an amazing sight. Um, when you come out here, the first thing you see is Mount Scott on the Wichita Mountains, and it's just beautiful. And Lauren shows us one of her favorite places in southwestern Oklahoma. Probably our most popular burgers are bacon cheeseburgers. We sell a lot of those. Plus, I've got the inside scoop on some of the best eats in Ponca City. From burgers to dogs, they've got it all. We'll get a taste a little bit later right here on Discover Oklahoma. Great travel tips anytime. Like Discover Oklahoma on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Oklahoma's new 2016 Outdoor Guide is full of the state's most spectacular activities and destinations. And when you use our new mobile app, some of the pages spring to life. So find your Oklahoma state of mind. Order your free guide at TravelOK.com today. Welcome back to the Museum of the Great Plains in Lawton. It's one of my favorite places to bring my kiddos. My son Mason absolutely loves the interactive buffalo. A great place to visit for a look at everything from the fossils of sea creatures to the history of the Wichita Mountains. The museum is in my hometown of Lawton and I'm really excited to share a little bit more about it with you today, Dino. It is our pleasure to have you here and I'm sure the folks here are very happy to have you home for at least a little while. Now, but it's home decorating that's actually the focus of our next story, and Julie Chen is taking us to the Restore House in Broken Arrow. I mean, we love old houses, we love renovating, and those are just the gifts that God's really given us, and so we've always felt that He has said, you know, use these gifts where I've put you, and He's put us in Broken Arrow. So. Here we are and we're just excited about what we can do. For Jamie and Nick Parker, Restore House is more than a home decor store. It's a labor of love. We actually lived in the house that the store is in now. Bought the house about two years ago, completely renovated it, but stayed true to the character of the original home. Uh, and when we bought it, it was in pretty bad disrepair. It was actually in the beginning stages of being demolished. Um, and so we, we wanted to bring it back to life. Now this 100-year-old restored house is full of life and unique treasures. We love road tripping. And on road trips, our family, we all hop in the car and we travel. Our family's in Michigan, and so it's fun for us to go along the way and find things that you might find in barns or salvage places. And Finding pieces like corbels and cast iron sinks and clawfoot tubs and 
uh, you know, barn wood, and, and although it's available, it's, it's not as readily available. The Parkers then use those items in imaginative ways and sell them at the storehouse. These are two corbels that we found and salvaged, and instead of it being on the outside of a house, which is how it would have been used originally, we've created it and attached it to the wall and displayed it as like a table. In an entry you could use this, or as you know, a serving place in your dining room, and so that's a fun found piece. From chairs to cups, signs to sparkle, you'll find a great mix of old and new here. When you walk through our store, you're gonna have see two tags. So one is just our normal Restore House tag, and what that means is that that's an item that we've gone to market, and that's just something that's trendy, that we love, that we think that other people will love too, and so we wanna share it. And then there's also the found tag, and when you see the found tag, it says, I once was lost, but now I'm found. And those are the pieces that we've gone out and we've salvaged and we want to incorporate into our store. I have purchased quite a few things from here. Um, one of the things I love is a metal tray that they carry and it just, I've found that it fits in like almost any style or any, uh, any room in the house. Restore House also offers design services and Nick can custom build just about anything. So if somebody wants a, a nine and a half foot farmhouse table, well we can build them a nine and a half foot farmhouse table. It's not something you could go to the store or market to buy, but we're happy to make it for them and, and customize that piece you know, according to what their needs are. Restore House is more than just a store. It's a place for the community to gather. Out on the lawn, they hold events, and they even have chickens for the kids to play with. We've got a pavilion uh, that was built out of a salvaged barn that was dismantled from Kansas, we relocated to here and re-erected it. Um, and so we're allowing people then once again to, to rent the space. Uh, and it's just something that's completely different from anything else that you see in the area. Whether you're planning a special event or a shopping trip, Restore House is the perfect home away from home. It's more like going to a friend's house, having a cup of coffee, and oh, by the way, they have great stuff and you can take some home with you. <laughs> In Broken Arrow, I'm Julie Chin, Discovering Oklahoma. Restore House is located on Main Street in Broken Arrow. They're open Tuesday through Saturday, 9.30 to 5, or shop them anytime online. Up next on Discover Oklahoma. And we also have bass boats and a pontoon boat that families can rent. No boat, no problem. The spot in southwestern Oklahoma where they'll hook you up so you can get out on the water. It's a double meat, double cheese with four strips of bacon on it and uh, all the fixing. And great food and good times. You don't want to miss our trip to this spot in Ponca City. It's all ahead right here on Discover Oklahoma. The Rhythm and Roots Music Trail is your front row seat to excitement. Hit the road to explore rock, blues, country, all of Oklahoma's rich music heritage. Order your free guide at TravelOK.com. Oklahoma Today magazine brings you stunning photography and authentic award-winning stories of home from Oklahoma. The only magazine that covers the entire state, Oklahoma Today showcases what we love about Oklahoma, bringing to you the very best of its people, places, culture, history, and of course, its legendary food. Subscribe now at OklahomaToday.com and get six issues absolutely free. Don't miss a single issue of Oklahoma Today magazine. Welcome back to the Museum of the Great Plains in Lawton. We're checking out a piece of not only Oklahoma's history, but so much of the Great Plains. But it's not just about history here, it's also about art and science for kids to interact with. And Lauren, as you well know, there's so much to see and do right here in Lawton. That's right, Dino, and not to mention lots of places to get outdoors and explore a little too. Lake Elmer Thomas Recreational Area on Fort Sill is your outdoor recreation destination in Southwest Oklahoma. It's really an amazing site. Um, when you come out here, the first thing you see is Mount Scott on the Wichita Mountains, and it's just beautiful. When you're enjoying the lake activities, that's the backdrop. Nestled near the Wichita Mountains and the Wildlife Refuge, it's a great place to explore nature and get active in the outdoors. For year-round at Letra, we offer archery and putt-putt golf and paintball that families and groups can come participate in. To try your hand at archery, you can rent a bow and arrows and head to the archery range. We have the traditional targets, and we also have some 3D animal targets, including a velociraptor, if you'd like to 
be a little different. We don't provide instruction, but folks are welcome to bring their own bows if they like, as long as they have target arrows. Or if golf is your cup of tea, head on over to the mini golf course. It's an 18-hole golf course, and it's $3 a person. Kids six and younger are free, so they can have some fun with putt-putt with their families. And if you're looking for a little more adventure, paintball is perfect for you. For the paintball rental, it's $30 per rental, and we provide a gun and a face mask, as well as a full air tank and 500 rounds of paintballs. As long as you have 12 or more people in a group, you can come and participate in paintball. If you come to enjoy a day at Letra during the summer months, you can enjoy fun on the water. You can rent paddle boats, canoes, or enjoy a day at the beach. So we have a swimming beach, a sandy swimming beach with lifeguards, as well as a water slide, and we have boating activities with canoes, kayaks, and paddle boats. And we also have bass boats and a pontoon boat that families can rent. To make it a staycation, bring your tent or your RV and stay the weekend, or rent one of the cabins at Letra. We have small, medium, and large cabins. They all have a fully stocked kitchen, with uh, plates, cups, silverware, as well as some cooking utensils, fridge and microwave. The cabins all have a view of the water. When you plan your trip to Letra, be sure to get your visitor pass to enter Fort Sill. For Department of Defense ID card holders, they're welcome to access any gate that is open to come to Letra. Um, if families do not have a Department of Defense ID, if individuals don't have that, they can go to the Visitor Control Center, which is on Sheridan Road, and they stop there, pick up a permit, and then they're welcome to use all of the activities here. So come to Letra, the perfect destination for an Oklahoma staycation. Folks really come out here to have some peaceful time, to enjoy nature with their families, and uh, maybe even to see some wildlife. I hope we've convinced you to plan a trip to Lawton sometime soon, and it's easy to do. Just hop onto the Department of Tourism website, TravelOK.com, click up top where it says Request Free Brochures, and then look for the Lawton Fort Sill Guide. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. If you don't have good food, people are not coming back. No problem with that for the folks that own this drive-in. We're headed out for some of the best burgers and dogs you've ever tried next on Discover Oklahoma. Oklahoma's new 2016 Travel Guide is your ticket to the state's most exciting places, attractions, and activities. Loaded with great ideas from cover to cover. Don't wait to order. Get your free 2016 Oklahoma Travel Guide online at TravelOK.com today. Oh, Oklahoma, where the wind, wind comes, comes spinning down the plane. And the waving wheat can just smell sweet when the wind comes right behind the rain. Oklahoma every night, my honey every night. Sit alone and talk. And watch a hawk. Making lazy circles in the sky. We know we belong to the land. And the land we belong to is grand. And when we say, I am the We're only saying you're doing fine. Oklahoma. 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 Okay. Oklahoma, come see for yourself. You forgot the honey lamb? <laughs> Well, Dino, I've had a great time guest hosting with you this week. It's been our pleasure to have you on the show, but I do want to let you in on a little secret, but I think you already know this. Okay. We, as a Discover Oklahoma staff, we love to eat. Uh, me included. Which segues into my next story. So it's time to come with me now to the Dixie Dog Drive-In, the legendary place in Ponca City. There's something about pulling into a parking lot perfumed by burgers, onion rings, tots, and corn dogs. So I have four burger combos, four tots, and then the four drinks. Pulling up to a classic like the Dixie Dog Drive-In can be as satisfying as any four-star dining experience. You want the special, the steak sandwich special? Yeah. Okay. The Dixie Dog Drive-In has been here since 1964. It's a true classic drive-in in that you never really have to undo your seatbelt. You can sit in your seat and simply give your order to the lightning fast and speedy car hop like Brenda. She's been working here since 2006 and she knows everyone and everyone knows her. 
Tom Anderson started working here when he was in the seventh grade, but in 1977, he bought the Dixie Dog Drive-In. It's a permanent fixture in Ponca City. It's one of the original drive-ins in Ponca City, and while it's a throwback to the 50s, this place is timeless. Well, we have uh, really friendly service. I mean, the, the car hops have a, pretty much a relationship with all their regulars. We have really good food, and which always, I mean, if you don't have good food, people are not coming back. And people just keep coming back. For years, you know. <laughs> About six, what, 50, 47, 50 years. Oh, it's been 27, 28 years. Long time, long time. A long time to be serving up some mighty tasty food. Well, the Dixie Dog was uh, basically named after our corn dogs. We don't call them corn dogs, we call them Dixie Dogs because they, they're kind of a sweet batter dog instead of a cornmeal dog. And so that's, that's the name of the Dixie Dog. Uh, probably our most popular burgers are bacon cheeseburgers. We sell a lot of those. It's a double meat, double cheese with four strips of bacon on it and uh, all the fixing. And so it's just uh, being consistent and repetitive and people, people like to know what they're gonna get when they come to the Dixie Dog. And they get a lot here. For example, a Dixie Burger, there's the Kitty Burger, steak sandwich, fish sandwich. Oh wait, here's some of the sides. Fried pickles, corn nuggets, munchers, mac and cheese bites, fried mushrooms, jalapeno poppers. Oh wait, don't forget the hot dog, chili dog, Dixie dog, chili burrito, tater tots, and onion rings. Whew. Of course, all the specials are great. Oh, I like the hamburger, cheeseburger, about anything, tater tots, I like it all. You know, I'm not picky, you know. Heck, I even buy hot dogs for my dogs, you know. Back in the mid-60s, uh, in 65, 63, when I graduated, this was the place to be. Looks like this will continue to be the place to be for a lot longer. Hey, okay. You can find all kinds of incredible places to eat inside our brand new Discover Oklahoma Dining Guide. We've scoured the state looking for the best places to eat, and this guide lists them all. Log on to our website, TravelOK.com, and click where it says Request Free Brochures to get your copy. And a big thank you goes to our guest co-host this week, Lauren Farron. We have had a lot of fun, and we appreciate you telling us all about your hometown of Lawton. It's been a great day, Dino. I appreciate it. And I hope that everyone will plan a trip to the Lawton Fort Sill area soon. A reminder about the Museum of Great Plains. They are open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 5, Sundays, 1 to 5. You can find out more about the different exhibits and the cost of admission on their website. And coming up next Saturday on Discover Oklahoma, we're exploring one of our great state parks. Check out the cabins at Robbers Cave. And fall is a great time to get in a little golf. We'll take you to a spot in Tulsa where you can work on your swing and get a great bite to eat. It's all coming up next Saturday night right here on Discover Oklahoma. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma. Native Pop uh, inaugural uh, gallery exhibition. Um, bringing together uh, 10 of the uh, top tier uh, contemporary pop artists from all over the uh, nation. One of the things I wanted to establish with this show is that as Native artists we just don't paint buffaloes and really images in the, in the sky and whatnot. I wanted people to see that we're not extinct, we're still here, we're still preserving our culture through our art and as, as an artist and as an indigenous artist we change with the time. I think I just wanted to paint what I was drawn to aesthetically. I went to a reservation school, but I also watched movies, so I wanted to see could I, what, what is the, where's the middle of that, and that's what I hope I was able to do. What this will do is open up a whole new generation of uh, not only art collectors, but also art enthusiasts that, hey, this is out there, and they need to keep a lookout for it.